Will it pass? That's the question. We're going to be conducting five foot in height. So approximately from shoulder length and side. And then of course front facing drop just for that ultimate carnage to see at the end who is the true winner. Let's go ahead and find out and get straight into this. So first up we have the red iPhone 7. 128 gig let's do the side drop test five feet we're gonna do it in three two one time to take a quick little look at the side drop test of the iPhone 7 although it did kind of look like half a front-facing drop test half a side drop test let's take a look anyways Wow, that's good news because I really thought that cracked. It really looked on the camera like it landed on its front. Phone is completely in working condition. Not a single crack that I can see. There's a little bit of a scuff, so let me check the corner. We definitely have damage on the bottom left-hand corner, just on that aluminum, the red flaked off. Uh, but other than that, looks like we're good. A little more scuffing on this right side. Let's move on into the side drop test for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now it's time for the Samsung Galaxy S8 side drop test. So flip it over one more time just so we see that back. It's the midnight black color. Sorry guys with the lighting it's kind of tough to see. There we go. So uh, five foot in height. Let's go ahead and do it. Side drop test in three, two, one. Now we take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm going to try and pinpoint the exact location where it dropped because it was just a corner drop. I do not see any cracks at the moment, as you guys can see from the back of the display uh, or body. And there's no cracks on the front, but it did hit a corner pretty hard. And looks like that corner was right here, okay? I found it so there we have the corner and I'm really really surprised because it's very very almost insignificant it's hard to see definitely from the side drop test the iPhone suffered more damage although it did hit the ground multiple times but here we just have a small little white mark and that's it I don't even see anything any scuffs on the other corner so surprisingly guys the Galaxy S8 did very very well on the side drop test Let's move on to finally the front-facing drop test. Now we have the front-facing drop test for the red iPhone 7. Let's go ahead and do it in three, two, one. And boy, did that not sound good, guys. I feel like there is certainly a shatter on this iPhone 7. And yes, there is. It's completely covered. Um, the only hope right now is will this phone turn on and it looks like this phone is not even turning on so it is not showing any life as far as the display turned on usually you have a crack but the phone is also working in this case I can hear the different you know sound effects but there's no nothing on the display and the Galaxy S8 front facing drop test finally let's do this in three two one So let's check out the results. That was more front facing slash side drop test, but another, it's what the, oh my goodness. Yeah, this phone is completely shattered. It's still working. Um, I guess it was half side drop test, half front facing drop test. You've got cracks on this corner, cracks on that corner. Um, there's quite a few. Uh, pretty much spider web like lines on the surface. It's not a complete shatter phone is still functional um, But again, it didn't land completely flat on its front. So It was more like a little bit of a bounce to it final little recap of the drop test guys So of course the red iPhone 7 uh, Absolutely no sign of life. Unfortunately um, It's just got shatters all along the entire front display um, You know LCD won't turn on I still feel the you know the vibration switch everything seems like it's working internally it's probably just that LCD and then the Galaxy S8 so we have pretty significant damage along the left and right corner here um, phone still works so that is the good news but of course there are about four five maybe six just shatter lines all along the top display they're very visible but in certain lighting actually um, it doesn't look like you can even tell, but of course if you turn off the phone, 
um, you'll definitely be able to see them kind of from a distance. That wraps it up guys though. The Galaxy S8, I definitely would have to say, won this drop test. Uh, thanks for watching guys. As always, stay tuned for more videos and peace out.